Life Lessons from Steve Jobs Apple CEO and Founder On our deathbed, we try to look back on how we live this life that God entrusted to us. Steve Jobs is not an exempted to that. During his last days, he gave some words of inspiration to the humanity. His sister revealed in a eulogy for her brother that described the Apple founder's last moments. His tone was affectionate, dear, loving, but like someone whose luggage was already strapped onto the vehicle, who was already on the beginning of his journey, even as he was sorry, truly deeply sorry, to be leaving us. Steve Jobs who once memorably described the death as the very likely the single best invention of life, left this world with a lingering look at his family and simple, if thrilling, observation. These are his last words. At this moment, lying on the bed, sick, and remembering all my life, I realize that all my recognition and wealth that I have is meaningless in the face of imminent death. You can hire someone to drive a car for you, make money for you, but you cannot rent someone to carry the disease for you. One can find material things but there is one thing that cannot be found when it is lost life. Treat yourself well, and cherish others. As we get older we are smarter, and we slowly realize that the watch is worth $30 or $300 both of which show the same time. Whether we carry a purse worth $30 or $300, the amount of money in the wallets is the same. Whether we drive a car worth $150,000, or a car worth $30,000, the road and distance are the same, we reach the same destination. If we drink a bottle worth $300, or wine worth $10, the stroller will be the same. If the house we live in is 300 square meters, or 3000 square meters, the loneliness is the same. Your true inner happiness does not come from the material things of this world. Whether you're flying first class or economy class, if the plane crashes, you crash with it. So. I hope you understand that when you have friends or someone to talk to this is true happiness. Here are the most important pieces of lessons, advice and wisdom we learned from Steve Jobs' death. 5 Simple, but most beneficial life lessons, take note. Number 1. Don't educate your children to be rich or wealthy. Educate them to seek happiness in life in whatever they do. So when they grow up they will always know the value of things, not the price. Number 2. Value what you put in your stomach. Eat your food as medicine, otherwise, you will need to eat your medicine as food. Be aware that some food in the current society is considered a poison, while some are medicine. Choose wisely. Number 3. Whoever loves you in life will never leave you, even if he has 100 reasons to give up, he will always find one reason to hold on and to stay. Number 4. There is a fine line between being human and a human being. Understand the difference and live smarter. Number 5. If you want to go fast go alone. But if you want to go far go together. A piece of advice specifically for entrepreneurs, creators, and inventors. Find service in other people. 
A dream you dream alone is a dream, while a dream you dream together is a goal. 6 best and free doctors in the world, at one sunlight. The body routinely craves for vitamin D. One of the best and free source of vitamin D is the sun. Go out and expose yourself whenever you can. Avoid staying at home for consecutive days without sunlight. To rest. It must be a challenge to find time to rest when your work is your life, especially if it's something you passionately love. However, despite all of that, you still need a break. Rest can provide a mental and physical fresh start. Even the most successful and wealthiest need rest. Don't torture yourself. Love yourself by taking care of your mind and body. 3. Exercise Did you know that a 30 minutes exercise per day increases your self-confidence, happiness, mental health, and physical health, and focus? Just a little portion of the day can give you all of these and if you consistently do it every day, you will one day be like a real-life Superman, without the flying ability. For diet. Diet, in this case, doesn't mean eating less, diet means eating the right food in the right mind that benefits your mind, body, and soul. Once in a while, our body needs rebalancing. You can either do it by meditation, exercise, sports, or healthy food. As the old saying goes, you are what you eat. This is truer than ever nowadays. You don't want to reach the old age and regret not having eaten healthy when you were younger. 5. Self-confidence Self-esteem regardless of your skills, influence, wealth, and connections, can bring you to new heights in your life. You are likely not born with it, but you can practice it, every day, at home, anytime. Some of the most successful entrepreneurs that we have known had nothing but boldness and self-confidence at the start of their careers. Think like this, confidence is the act of believing in yourself despite the conditions, challenges, and problems. Learn to practice your mind to always believe yourself when people don't, because if you don't believe in yourself, how can you expect people to believe in you? 6. Family slash friends Most of the time, we forget to speak with our family and close friends. This is likely for the fact that when you reach a certain age, 21 and further, you are likely to focus your daily life on your job, career, relationship, hobbies, and parties. There's nothing wrong with that. However, as you grow up, your parents do grow up as well and one day you will most likely regret not having to spend time with your family when they were still here on earth. Enjoy it while it lasts. Take at least 30 minutes a day to call your mom, dad, or close friends. It can be hard, but try your very best. A life that is a result of the combination of these six doctors and five life lessons is a life that is eternal, endless, and heavenly. Keep them in all stages of life and enjoy a healthy life. God bless you always. If you like our content, support us by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell to get updates on our channel. You can also like, share, and comment below. Together, let us spread the good news. Upliftments 101